Hi. It's been uh, about six months now, I think. So I guess I got some explaining to do about what I've been up to. And I've been up to quite a lot, believe it or not, despite my very frequent Twitter feed. So let's talk about cool stuff and gadgets, first of all. I got a new mic. Uh, this was about a week ago. It's called the uh, Blue Bluebird. It's a condenser mic. It uses XLR. I had to buy like this crazy interface for it, so that's pretty cool. Also, uh, this video is an audio test. I bought a Rode VideoMic Pro, and I found out that my camera doesn't have an input jack, so I'm using an external video recorder. I mean, audio recorder. That, that's what I meant. <laughs> external video recorder. Why even have the camera? <laughs> Here, I'll also give you a tour of the new game room. It's really cool. Let me show you. These are all my video games. I've bought a lot of consoles in the meantime. I have my 3DS games, DS games, N64, Genesis, NES, PlayStation. I've been working on it. I, I've been kind of behind on the retro consoles despite reviewing retro games, but I'm here now. A lot of these consoles I used to have, but I used to trade them in. I'm a, I'm a fool. These are my consoles. I got an N64. Uh, I got a Steam Link so I can stream PC games and all that. Apple TV for smartphone games. Wii, Wii U, Dreamcast, Xbox, Slim PS2, and Retron 5, which plays like every retro game known to man. And then I got some other cool stuff here. Oh, and I got a TV. I got a nice big TV. Basically, I've been pimping everything out without the video part kind of flood. I know. Okay, so at this point I'm just avoiding the elephant in the room. Where the heck have I been for six months? Well, in order to tell you that answer, I need to go back all the way to about December. 11 months ago. Oh boy. So around that time I was thinking about how the future of my channel was going. Um, I really loved what I was doing with BGR about, you know, new experiences, a lot of indie games, but it also got me thinking a lot about why am I doing what I'm doing? And to be honest, I don't think I was as happy with my work as I could have been. You see, a lot of it had to do with how much people told you how to do things on YouTube, whether it be from, oh, you gotta have this amount of like padding so you can make it 10 minutes so you can get this ad revenue, or like, you can't put this many jokes in this way because it won't flow correctly, or, you know, all this mumbo jumbo that like, how YouTube is supposed to be run, how videos are supposed to be structured in order to like not lose people, you know, not putting 30 second long intros like I do, but I do it anyway. Like, it's stuff like that, and a lot of it was just getting to me, you know? Because I felt that I a lot of the stuff that I was creating is something that was kind of derivative, that everyone was doing. And it didn't feel like I had exactly a purpose to do it, rather than just talking about a new game. And talking about new games is great, but that's not the reason I even started my channel. The reason I started my channel is to show people about new experiences, or some sort of lesson to be taken from it. I want to teach people things. I don't want to just talk about things for the sake of talking about them. There needs to be a reason. And I was lacking that focus. So it was around then where I decided, okay, uh, a lot of people enjoyed BNGR, that was, for those who don't know, my previous series before BGR, where I was a lot more goofy, and I, I did a lot of silly plots, and I talked to my stuffed animal a lot, <laughs> and it just, you know, cute little stuff like that, and it, it was a fun time, because it was kind of like my innocent phase, where I didn't know much about the whole, you know, video world, I just kind of did my thing, and it was, it was cool, and a lot of people enjoyed it, and a lot of people liked my quirkiness, or... I don't know, just the way I presented my stuff. It was great. So I decided, hey, I should make another series like that, but pretty much not have the same name. You know, bringing back, you know, talking more about retro games, having more like silly little side plot things, and you know, just bringing back the overall feel of what I did in that show. But when I started doing it, I think I had about 10 scrap scripts by the end of this little ordeal. Uh, I just, I couldn't find that purpose. Why am I doing this? You know, why? Why am I even, like, being goof? I know I'm making people laugh, but, like, what are they learning? Why, what's the purpose of this? So I decided I'm just gonna scrap it. Maybe I'll come back to some of those projects. Some of those I actually did retool, but I wasn't happy with what I was making. Simple as that. So after that, I went back to the drawing board a few times. I thought about, you know, making a series just about doing, like, hard retro games. But, like, the lesson from that would be what? Like... 
oh, that shows how passionate I am about gaming. But, like, you can do that in other ways than, like, getting your ass kicked, <laughs> you know? So, it just, I had little, like, gimmicky ideas, spin-off ideas, but, I don't know, same thing happened. No reason to do it. But then, all it took was one trip to Twitter to make me realize something big, and something that gave me a purpose to what I want to do. There was a game that came out, and there was a lot of controversy behind that game. And the game is fantastic, but I'm sure you've heard this many times before. There was stuff in the middle of it, some gunk in the middle that, like, prevented people from enjoying it as much as they would have liked to. And that just occurred to me, you know, video games, the whole point of them, they're a source of entertainment. Why are people being bogged down by this instead of, you know, enjoying games for what they are? Instead it, in many cases, it brings people down more than if they weren't playing the game. And that's, that was a big red flag. A huge red flag, because I've seen it increase so much in the past few years. And that's when I decided what I wanted to do. I wanted to get people to understand why we play games, understand the positivity of gaming, yet still, you know, trying to understand critical flaws or some sort of controversy, but not letting that bother you from the core experience. So, from that one idea, I was able to create an entire series. I retooled some of the canceled scripts I had, and even um, at one point I had a planned themed month, Dreamcast month, but that fell through, because, <laughs> you know, the whole working a uh, full-time job and trying to get that rolling along with my new series also rolling. So pretty much what I did, I saved some of those videos and I'm, I retooled them for this new series. So that's exciting. I just, I took the idea and ran with it. So what I decided to do uh, is create a new series, a sequel to what I had in Barog's Game Room and BNGR. And uh, it's called... I didn't even tell, uh, this is a secret, I, I haven't even told my graphic designer this, <laughs> so, sorry about that, Nico, I love you, oops, <laughs> it's been a big secret. I am now finally able to introduce BGR A, Barog's Game Room Adventures. Now you're probably thinking, what the heck, why are you making a new acronym, why are there adventures in here? Well, I'll tell you. This new series follows Balrog, as, as I said. He went to go play a video game and a bunch of stuff got in the middle. So, subconsciously, all the different characters that he's created over the years decided to reanimate themselves and show Balrog why he loved gaming in the first place and pretty much show him why he wants to do what he does. That's it. It's really goofy, right? It's really stupid? I know. And I love it. So yeah, a lot of the characters you've seen over the years will come back. Jerry, Wario, the professor from Nintendo 101, that's something I haven't heard in years, right? Uh, Bob Nintendo from running Game Mart. Like, all these characters are going to bring them back in some form, and they, have all of, they all have different lessons to teach Bara. And that's going to be the fun of it. That you guys are going to tell me what you want them to learn. What games do you want me to cover? How do you want this show to be structured? Who do you want to have more of the spotlight? Like. Give me ideas! Like, this is all gonna be based on feedback. And it's gonna be cool to see what people come up with, and what I come up with, and where it goes. But despite that, I do have the story of this very planned out. There is a beginning, middle, and end. I don't know how long it's gonna be. Maybe it could be years, maybe it could be a year. Who knows, with the constant rebranding of my channel I always do. But the reason I do that is because I always want to learn new things. I want to reinvent my own wheel, make myself better, try different kinds of opportunities. Like, it's part of who I am. I don't want to be stuck in doing the same thing with a different title slapped on it every episode. And I feel that by switching up the formula entirely and throwing it on its head, that I'm able to create something new and something that resonates. Because now, you can always go back to BNGR and see how that was, see how go back to BGR and see how cool that was too. It just, it's cool to see me evolve. And that's what I'm doing, I'm evolving. I'm not, I'm not reverting. And that's what I tried to, to do by going back to BNGR and it failed. But with this, this is an entirely new concept. This is a new kind of video format I don't think I've ever seen on YouTube before in the way that it's being done now. So I'm very excited, I'm very nervous, and uh, Hopefully, you'll give it a chance, despite, you know, being a narrative kind of thing for reviews, which isn't done very often. Let me know what you think.
So yeah, that pretty much is why I have been inactive for six months. I didn't want it to come out with only one episode and just leave people hanging on thinking how the show is structured, because this the way I created BGRA is that every episode, a little piece of the story kind of unfolds and you learn a little bit more about what the heck is going on, because everything's not what it seems. It's a story. So I decided when I come back, I want there to be three episodes. So, today, you'll be able to watch the first one of DDR Mario Mix. It's a very... I filmed it back in February, but it's a... <laughs> I really like that episode. And then, for the next two weeks, there's going to be a new episode. Each are tw over 20 minutes long, so... Hopefully that was worth the wait. <laughs> and by episode three, you'll know exactly what I'm planning with BGRA, and you'll be able to pretty much lead me from there and let me know what you think. Very exciting. And who knows? Maybe I'll really like the new character I made. He's kinda cute. Now I know what's probably on your mind. Yeah, three videos don't take six months. Uh, yeah, they, they, they don't. <laughs> uh, since March I've had a full-time job, which, you know, it doesn't stop me from what I'm doing, but, you know, 40 hours a week working means 40 hours less to work on videos, so. I was trying to, you know, work out how life is structured from there, and I think once I have everything set up, when I have the ball rolling with these episodes, um, I should have a new video every couple weeks now. It shouldn't be a problem anymore since I have everything scoped out. So hopefully this whole drought of video thing won't be a problem anymore. You know, things will happen, but hopefully not to the extent of six months. <laughs> so yeah, that's my plan, and hopefully I'm here to stay. And I just want to end this video by saying Thank you. Thank you so much for sticking with me through all of these changes, all of these new ideas that pretty much come to my channel whenever I feel like it. <laughs> I know sometimes it's kind of overwhelming. And I just want to say thank you for watching and thank you for waiting for me to come back. And thank you to everyone I showed my episodes to beforehand to make sure I'm not being crazy doing this. Uh, thank you to Nico and Zach for the graphic design that the whole new rebrand of my channel it looks freaking fantastic. You guys will see what I'm talking about when you watch the first episode. Uh, thank you to Gyro and Commandy Can for the new intros and outros that I have. They're really great. And thank you to all my patrons for sticking with me through my idol months. Uh, I've gotten a lot of support from you guys and it really means a lot that you stuck with me. So really, truly, put all your names here. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's really good that I'm finally back. It's been way too long. <laughs> so yeah, here's a link to the first video on DDR Mario Mix. Uh, that one I also believe is over 20 minutes, so hopefully you'll enjoy seeing all the new characters, or old characters in new roles. That's what I meant. So uh, have a good day, and thank you so much for watching this update video. And uh, yeah, uh, have a good one. Uh, you can click the video whenever. I'm just being awkward, it's like 10 o'clock at night. I just ate a ton of food at a grill, so <laughs> feel kind of tubby right now. Oh yeah, so you can you can click it whenever. I don't know. Well, thank you for watching me be awkward. <laughs> See you soon. Hope you enjoy BGRA. And sorry again, Nico, for not telling you about that and adding the branding myself. <laughs>